A grinding wheel is a tool used to grind down, polish, or cut materials such as metal or glass. Like a sander, it uses abrasive grains to wear away the surface in minute particles. Grinding actually sharpens the wheel by breaking those grains and creating new sharp points. A grinding wheel is made from several chemical and mineral ingredients. The formula varies according to what the wheel will be intended to grind, polish, or cut. For metal work, they use abrasives that are aluminum oxide based. For cutting cement, stone, and other non-metal objects, they use abrasives that are silicone carbide based. Even within those two categories, the formula differs between, say, a wheel designed for hard steel versus one designed for soft steel. Computer programmed scales automatically weigh the various ingredients, including additives such as iron oxide for wheels that cut or grind iron, and the mineral cryolite, which lubricates the abrasives. Powdered and liquid resins bond all these ingredients together. The powdered resin and additives are the first ingredients to go into the mixer. After about a minute, the abrasives and liquid resin go in. Another five minutes of churning and the mixture is the consistency of damp beach sand. They screen out any globs or chunks so that the mix has a smooth and even texture. A device called a shuttle spreads the mixture into a wheel-shaped mold. The diameter and depth of the mold cavity corresponds to the dimensions of this specific grinding wheel model. At the base of the mold is a reinforcement disc made of fiberglass. Next, a galvanized steel ring goes in the center of each wheel, its four small anchors gripping the mixture. This ring is designed to protect the shaft that spins the grinding wheel. A hydraulic press now compacts the material, applying up to 350 kilograms of pressure per square centimeter. That's the weight of about 30 cars. Every single grinding wheel coming off the line is weighed to ensure it meets design specifications. Next, the wheels go into an oven whose temperature rises gradually from 20 to 200 degrees Celsius over a period of 24 hours. This cures the resin, bonding all the ingredients together. When the grinding wheels come out, they're hard as a rock. The last step of the production process is labeling. The automated machinery moves the wheels from station to station using suction. It applies eight drops of hot glue around the center, then slaps on the first label. The label bears the manufacturer's logo and lists the grinding wheel's dimensions, its intended use, and the maximum spin speed. The equipment then flips each wheel and glues a second label onto the other side. This label lists the safety information. The diameter of a grinding wheel can range from just 5 centimeters to more than 50 centimeters. It can be just a millimeter thin or up to 12 millimeters thick. The smallest wheels are designed for things like auto body work, while the largest ones can cut through railway tracks and thick metal construction beams.